in this lecture we will see where is the graphics toolbar as well as the selection toolbar that is present inside the older versions of ANSI software as well as newer versions of the ANSI software. For that purpose, I am maximizing the ANSYS Mechanical 18.2 version and see here, if you come to the top of this particular ANSYS Mechanical interface, this is what is called as a selection toolbar and just beside it, this is what is called as a graphics toolbar. So selection toolbar is used to select and filter out different geometric entities as well as the meshing entities. Likewise, this graphics toolbar is used for manipulating the views and adjusting the position of the geometry that we are currently seeing in the graphics window. And in addition to all of these things, this is what is called as a status bar. And if we apply any operation, we will be able to see what is its status, right? So the position of the selection toolbar as well as the graphics toolbar are currently present here in the top of the toolbars in uh, older versions of ANSYS Workbench software. Now I will minimize this one and uh, I will maximize the latest version of ANSYS Mechanical. Now uh, if you observe uh, the view toolbar as well as the selection toolbar are placed differently from the options that are available here. So this is uh, what is called as a view toolbar or graphics toolbar. This is what is called as a selection toolbar. So these two things are available at this particular position and whatever the options that are available in the previous version of ANSYS Workbench software, they haven't changed in both of this particular selection toolbar or the graphics toolbar. So coming to the position of the status bar, if you observe, this is what is the status bar in the newer version of the software. So the status bar location hasn't changed as well as the graphics window or the world coordinate system also haven't changed in the newer version of the software when compared to the older version of the software.